What's up, YouTube? We're out here on uh, Lake Alatoona, about 45 minutes north of Atlanta, Georgia. It's uh, it's it's been a hot day today. It's been a really, really hot summer. It's uh, it's about 92 right now, beginning of August. Uh, so I'm gonna show you today how I go about finding fish and finding the thermocline. So see, you know, I put in a boat ramp probably three miles down south, and I come out here to the creek channel. But you can see it's a nice road bed, which the Lorantz, you know, the chips, they actually really help out a lot. You wouldn't believe it or not, but I got the premium chips. I mean, they're, they're really good. But what I do is I find a creek channel with deep water, you know, 50, 60 feet deep. And I go over here to my sonar, and I go to menu. As you can see, it's already up there. But I go to my sensitivity, and I crank it down till everything's clear, no clutter. And I start easing it up until I start seeing a prominent line. See the line right here? Or we can crank it up even a little bit more if needed. And that, that'll show you your key points, your, your places to actually start keying in on fish. With it being so hot, the water is about 85 degrees. It don't say it right there. But uh, it's about 85, 86 degrees. A little bit of, a little bit of junk up here, a little bit of shad. But uh, that's what I start keying in on. You see the, the, the depth line right here. Start keying in on that. See, we got shad up here in 15 all the way up to the surface. But uh, then I go back to my charts. And uh, I start looking for points. Start looking for bluff walls. You know, any kind of structure in those areas, you know, that's 35 feet or less. And then I start trying to key in on shad in those areas. You know, right now, with it being the beginning of August, all the shad down here in Georgia are about an inch, inch and a half long. So I try to mimic them as best possible. You know, small crankbaits, small chatterbaits. You know, if I'm going to throw a, a jig or something, it's going to be small and compact. It's not going to be real bulky. And uh, so I go over here, see how the channel swings up against here. My main key area is going to be the steep bluff wall. But I'm going to fish. I'm going to check right here and right here most of all in those areas where it swings up against the bay. Because these pockets are going to be slapped full of shad. But the bass, you know, with the water temperature are going to want to hang out in that thermoclined area. 